They are the stars of every air show they're in, the Blue Angels. So can you have a show without the stars? The Navy has decided the answer to that is no. NAS Jacksonville has canceled this year's air show, which was scheduled for October. The decision was made after the Blue Angels canceled all of their air show appearances for the rest of the year, citing the automatic Washington budget cuts that took effect last month. The Pentagon says military readiness on the front lines must come before military PR. Channel 4's Tim Pulliam has been out sampling local reaction, especially from businesses that benefit from the show. For more than 60 years, it's an event many people in Jacksonville have looked forward to. Every year. <laughs> well, Since year. I was little, my dad used to take me. Touching generation to generation, the sights and sounds at Naval Air Station Jacksonville's air show, now silenced. I know, I've heard about it, and it's a shame because I wanted my boy so much to see it. My oldest one is three, and he just loves um, things like that. And I was waiting for this year to bring him, and now it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Luniz Luke's family would have experienced the air show this fall for the very first time, but federal budget cuts mandated that naval bases shut down all outreach events it sponsors. How are you going to break it to the three-year-old? I don't know. I don't know. Hoping I wouldn't have to. In 2011, NAS Jax says they spent $450,000 on the event. Now they will be able to save that money. Some fans say they understand the cutback. Why not? I mean, we all got to tighten up. You know, you've tightened up just like I have. They have to, too. But businesses near the naval base were looking forward to the boost in sales. And it's a big draw. I mean, it, the roads are packed. And so, I bet your business is packed. Yes, it is. And not only that, but I get to watch it standing right here. Ray Frazier manages Tijuana Flats. He expects to lose more than $1,000. We enjoy seeing the crowd out here and the line to the door, you know, when it comes around. But unfortunately, not this year. But uh, we hope they bring it back. Tim Pulliam, Channel 4, the local station. Captain Bob Sanders, the commanding officer at NAS Jax, issued this statement. He said, this is a very tough decision because the people of Jacksonville love their Navy and we sincerely appreciate their support. But our decision came down to priorities, operational readiness, and supporting the warfighters.